Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2. In today's uh, default workflow of the Magento 2, we'll be seeing the auto fulfillment process. So what we'll be doing is we'll be seeing how the customers would be able to place the orders initially and then how the admin would be able to check the particular orders in the orders section. So we'll be going through the orders section there. We'll, we'll be seeing how we can uh, operate different functions uh, under the orders section, how we can generate the invoices, how we can generate the shipments, how we can generate the credit memos and much more. Uh, but before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial there, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So what happens is that what you need to do is after you have uh, configured your products, you have configured your shipping, your payment methods, and then thereafter the customers would now be able to place the orders at the storefront. After this particular process, the customers can place the order and then you'll be able to fulfill the orders from the admin backend panel by generating the invoices, generating the shipment, generating the credit memos and much more. So let's hop on to the storefront now and let's see how this particular order fulfillment process works. So first we'll be seeing the customer workflow of how the customer can place the order initially and then we'll see the order section in the admin backend panel there itself. So let's see the auto fulfillment uh, procedure there in the default Magento 2. So the very first thing that I want to show you is how the customer places the order and then we'll see how the admin would be able to check the particular order in the admin backend panel under the orders section and how the admin would then be able to generate the invoice shipment and the credit memos for a particular order there. So uh, right now you can see that I've already added two products in the cart. That's the battery non-rechargeable and wireless mouse. And I've already logged into my customer account as well. So let's uh, proceed to the checkout by tapping here on the proceed to checkout button. We'll be taken to the checkout and they will be uh, having to select our shipping method. So here we'll be selecting the shipping method as for example, let's go with the flat rate shipping and uh, let's tap here on the next button thereafter. After selecting the shipping method there, now we'll have to select the payment method at the payment method section here. So for now, we'll be choosing it as cash on delivery um, and we'll set it as my billing and shipping address are same. And then we'll be tapping here on the place order button. Now, as soon as the customer has placed the order, the customer would be able to view the order details by navigating to the particular section there or the order section or my order section. And here you can see that we have the order number 18 it's right now in the pending state and here we are having two products wireless mouse and battery non rechargeable and uh, here the shipping method that was selected by the customer was uh, flat rate fixed and the payment method was cash and delivery that was selected by the customer itself. So this was the workflow at the customer's end now let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's log into the admin backend panel. Now after the customer has placed the order from the front end, the particular order would be visible to the admin in the admin backend panel by navigating to the left hand side panel here and navigating to the sales section. Under sales, we'll have to navigate to orders. Uh, before I go to the orders section here, we uh, I just wanted to tell you that here we have the orders section, invoices, shipments, credit memos, billing agreements, transactions and Braintree virtual terminal. So we'll just be going through uh, the options uh, that are orders, invoices, shipments and credit memos. Uh, billing agreements are the agreements that uh, have been set up uh, for by the admin for the different payment methods or the online payment methods there. Uh, for the online payment methods, uh, the transactions that have been taken place that are visible here in the transactions and the uh, Braintree virtual terminal is used for the Braintree payment method itself. So to, in today's video, we'll just be going through the orders, invoices, shipments, credit memos itself. So let's go to the orders section and let's view the particular order. That's the order number 18 in the admin backend panel. So under the orders section here, you can see that the admin would be able to search the orders as well. And for each of the particular orders, the admin can cancel, hold, unhold, print invoices, print packaging slip, print credit memos, print all and print shipping labels as well. So for this order, the order number 18, let's uh, change it to what we say as let's filter it to uh, order according to the order ID there. So here you can see that I've filtered it out. So here's the order number 18, the purchase date is there, the bill to name the ship to name is there the uh, grand uh, total is there the grand total purchase is there 
the status is pending and we have the actions column as well where we have the view option so from here we can view the particular order as well by tapping on the view link and from here uh, you can see that uh, we'll be able to hold the order we can generate the invoice we can ship the order or we can reorder on the behalf of the customer as well right now under the invoices for the particular order there are none of the invoices there are none credit memos there are none shipments and there are no comment histories as well if you see so to generate an invoice for the order because this order has been placed using the offline payment method so that's why the invoice needs to be generated manually by the admin otherwise if it would have been an online payment method that was used by the customer to place the order then in that case the invoice would have automatically been uh, generated and the uh, order status would also be set up as processing itself so to generate the invoice what we need to do is you need to tap here on the invoice button or the invoice option that we have here that will bring up the new invoice section as you can see here and under the new invoice section if i scroll down uh, here we have the option to submit the invoice as well if you want you can add some comments uh, to the invoice history as well uh, generating invoice for the order and you can email the copy and you can append the comments as well so let's tap here on the submit invoice button and the invoice would be generated for this particular order generating the invoice means that the uh, amount has been received by the admin there for the particular order now if i go to the invoices you can see that the particular invoice would have been generated and you can see that the status is paid right now and now if i refresh this particular section for the customer's end you can see that the order status has gone to processing now from uh, pending to processing and uh, we can also print the invoice or we can view the invoice as we have seen and if i tap here on the print option the order or the invoice number would be uh, printed out so uh, here uh, the invoice has been downloaded if i open the invoice here uh, within the web browser we'll be able to see the details of the invoice itself so here's the invoice as you can see with the details of the invoice as well right so let me close this out so this was how the admin can generate the invoice uh, for the particular order now let's see how the admin would be generating the credit memo so in case of refund you'll be able to generate the credit memo for a particular order to generate the credit memo what you need to do is for the particular order that's the order number 18 for example you have you'll have this credit memo option after you have generated the invoice there so you can tap here on the credit memo to generate the credit memo for the particular order itself so here you will have to select the uh, return to stock option for the products that are going to be uh, uh, refunded back and then if there are any uh, what do we say as uh, adjustment fees that uh, or the adjustment refunds that you can set up here uh, if you want to refund the shipping you can refund the shipping as well as per your own requirement there you can update the totals and because this was an, an option uh, or, or uh, this particular order was placed using the offline payment method so that's why we have an refund offline option here after refund off uh, line button has been tapped by the admin to create the credit memo the admin needs to uh, return back the amount to the customer out of the system there otherwise it's if if an online payment method was used by the customer to place the order then you'll have a refund online button as well available here uh, depending upon the configuration setting of that payment method itself so this was how we can uh, basically go for the credit memo now let's generate the shipment for this particular order to generate the shipment what i'll do is i'll tap here on the ship option that we have and this would bring up the shipment or the new shipment page as you can see here with the details of the same so here what we need to do is we need to add or we need to select the carrier name uh, we have to enter the tracking number after entering the tracking number we'll come down and uh, we can email the copy of shipment to the customer as well we can append any comments if any for this particular order uh, for which we are generating the shipment and then we'll tap here on the submit shipment button now this would uh, generate the shipment for the order so you can see that the shipment has been created 
Now, if I go to the shipment section, here we can see that the shipment would have been created for this particular order. We can view the shipment as well by tapping here on the view link. And from here, we can send the tracking information to the customer as well, or we can uh, print the shipment as well. So here you can see DHL carrier, the tracking number is there, the products within the uh, shipment are also visible. So if you want to print, you can tap here on the print option and the particular packaging slip would be uh, downloaded. You can open that up and you can print that out as per your own requirement. So this is the packaging slip for the order number 18, as you can see, for the order number 18 here. The packaging slip is visible here as you can see itself with the tracking number as well and the shipping method that was selected by the customer, the total shipping charges and the title of the shipping method and the tracking number is visible as well to the admin there. So that was about how we can generate the shipment uh, in the admin backend panel. Now uh, this is the shipment page itself as you can see. Now let's go back and uh, now if I go to the particular order here for the customer and I refresh this particular page here, you can see that the order is being shown as complete and here the customer can see the invoices as well as the order shipment details as well. So here's the invoice. The customer can download the invoice, order shipments. Here we can see track all shipments, print all shipments. Uh, option is there, track the shipment option is also visible here to the customer there. So this was the order section there. Apart from that, under the order section, uh, basically the admin would be able to create a new order on behalf of the customers as well. For that, the admin needs to tap here on the create new order button that he has and that would bring up the particular new order for new customer section as you can see. So from here, the admin can select a particular customer from whom he wants to uh, create the order for, then choose the uh, default store view. After that, he'll be able to see the create new order for Smiddo in default store view as the heading there. From here, you can add the products by tapping here on the add products. You can select a particular product. For example, uh, let's go with the battery non-rechargeable and then tap here on the add selected products to order. This will add the particular product into the order as you can see here. And if you want to apply any coupon code, you can apply that coupon code as well. The billing address is already filled here and the shipping address is already filled here. Uh, then you can see that the payment method is cash and delivery. Then you can tap here on the get shipping methods and rates and you can select the shipping method for the customer there. After selecting that up, you can tap here on the submit order button to submit and to create a new order for the customer there on the customer's behalf itself. So you can see that you created the order, order number 19 on behalf of the customer there. Now if I go to the customer's account panel, I go to my order section, I can find that particular new order that has been created by the admin on my behalf itself. So if I go ahead and go to the my orders, you can see the my order number 19 is visible here. If I view the order, I'll have that non-rechargeable battery visible within the order itself. And you can see that about your order here, you can see that the order placed by store administrator with the date and the time as well. So this was about the order section. Then under the invoices, you will find the complete list of invoices that you have already generated for the various uh, orders there. And here you will find the complete list of all of the invoices here. So this is the latest invoice number 15 that you have created for $138. If I view the invoice, we can view the invoice as well from this particular section. For the wireless mouse and the battery non-rechargeable, this was for the order number 18, as you can see for the order number 18. Under the shipments, you'll see the complete list of shipments that you have created. Uh, all of the shipments would be listed here. The latest shipment is the sixth one for the order number 18, as you can see. We can view it as well. Then we have the credit memo section. Here you'll find the complete list of credit memos that you have generated from the admin backend panel. And all of those credit memos would be listed here. So here you can see that we have two credit memos. Now how to generate the credit memo uh, for that? Uh, for example, let's go to the orders section. And under the orders section, I want to generate the credit memo for a particular order. So what I'll do is, or I want to refund that order. So I'll select that particular order and, or I'll view that particular order. After viewing the order, I'll go to the uh, invoice section first. 
so the invoice should have been created first and only after that would you be able to refund the amount there to the customer there so i'll just submit the invoice for this particular order number 19 now you can see that we have the credit memo option now let me generate the credit memo there so new memo is to be generated here for the particular order let me return the particular product to the stock as well the quantity to refund is one uh, let's tap here on the refund offline button and the particular credit memo would be generated i can view the particular credit memo here for the particular order number 19 as well under the credit memo section and i can view it up as per the requirement there and you can see that we have refunded uh 11 dollars back to the customer there itself so if i go back here and uh, here you can see if i go to the credit memos here you can see the details of the order and the credit memo itself and you can see that we have refunded and the refund amount is 11 dollars that we have refunded back to the customer there now the same is then visible under sales credit memos so this particular credit memo would be visible here as well initially we had two credit memos now we have three so for the order number 19 we have created this credit memo we can wave this up as well or we can print the details of the credit memo as well the credit memo would be downloaded we can open it up and we can print the credit memo as well so here's the credit memo as you can see and we have uh, refunded 11 dollars back to the customer there so yes that was about the order fulfillment process in the uh, admin backend panel and, and the customers and how the customers would be able to place the orders initially and then how the admin would be able to with that particular order generate the invoice shipment credit memo for the particular order there if you still have any questions queries you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uds.com as well Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.